Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another man video today. So guys, big news today. Yo, huge news. Of course, one of them being today is the NFL draft. We have the draft picks. We know who went number one, and that was Kyler Murray. Um, but before the draft happened, I believe it was like 6 o'clock or 6.30 Eastern time um, on ESPN. They went ahead and announced it, and that man right there, that bad man, Mr. Patrick Mahomes, will be your cover athlete for Madden 20 on console and of course madden overdrive as well now of course this is kansas city chief superstar quarterback and 2018 nfl mvp is your madden nfl 20 and madden nfl mobile cover cover athlete so that's a that's a that's a uh that's pretty big bro that's actually pretty big i don't know if they're just saying madden nfl mobile but are they dropping and you guys can see at the top you guys can see at the top is this big news is this big news right here? I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody at EA. Um, the, uh, the, the main guy that I talked to is on vacation right now. So I don't know any scoop. But this is just... This is my speculations right here. Are they dropping Overdrive? That is the question, guys. Obviously, you know Overdrive... You know what I'm talking about. This year, there was a lot of high expectations. There was all uh, there was tons of high expectations. One, just because you can't be doing the same thing every single year. And they went ahead and beyond with gameplay wise, beyond what we thought they would for a mobile game. But of course, as I've said so many times in the past, the ideas and all of the things that they made this year, events wise, um, gameplay wise, how to make a promo, how to uh, uh, do everything. It was that was great. I, I applaud them for all the um, thought of the behind it, all the hard work that they went into making new promos and all that stuff. And you guys might think, hey, that's just Nick sucking up. But honestly, I thought the programs were not bad, like the ideas and everything. It was just the execution was done poorly. One of them being, I, I don't know why they took out stamina, um, especially since I get that they wanted people to play Overdrive, but force feeding you to play Overdrive that was that was bad. That was that was terrible. That's probably what killed it off in the beginning, and then. And just the way they've been rolling with things we had high expectations with of course uh most feared that because like eh, and stuff like that the way they did it everything where you needed popcorn and stuff and all these currencies is already confusing they took away sets so yeah that's a big question guys are they dropping overdrive it wasn't i would say it was a bust of a year um i honestly liked overdrive in the beginning of the year it was kind of fun it was kind of high paced i wouldn't mind having overdrive as a mode in madden mobile you know what i'm talking about but just not focus everything around it you have to get blitz tokens there's no more stamina and stuff like that it's just a kind of a pain you can't really grind as much anymore inside of the current overdrive so that's pretty big news guys what I'm looking at right here is Madden Overdrive taken out from the game. We're going to be going back to Madden Mobile 20. That's going to be pretty sick. That would be pretty interesting. I think that's a plus. Um, like I said, things... I think idea wise imagine we had the regular head to head it was very mainly we had stamina and all that new gameplay stuff but just didn't make force feed you to play overdrive i think it would have been a lot better it would have kept a lot of people more playing um and stuff like that but that's just my thoughts like i said the nfl draft is on so let's talk about that as well i just wanted to throw that out there i just noticed that while I'm making this video madden mobile i'm like getting a little hyped here but of course the nfl draft is going on um let's go to the future is now as right now for some reason reason i guess the, applied to the madden team and everything uh, for staying up at late at the office and making sure they get all the content in the game while people are drafted but we've already had i, I don't even know but they might be on draft 11 while i'm making this video but 7 8 9 and 10 i haven't been in the game just yet maybe they just need to do artwork and stuff like that for the guys um but you guys can see number one Kyler Murray. Um, are they going to trade Rosen? I have no idea. You guys see that he does all these guys, unfortunately. They have uh, a, a plus overall for one of the, the team they got drafted to. That, that makes sense. You know what I'm talking about? They just got to a new team. That makes total sense. Um, but of course, I don't like the, the boost they give because the plus two awareness only the draft players. That kind of sucks. I wish that was to the whole team um, or something like that. But yeah, you guys see plus one overall for everybody and then plus two draft awareness to draft players for Kyler Murray. He's a 99 overall selectable scheme for any offensive player, so don't worry. It does show spread, but you can select every single one. Uh, he's got 96 speed, 96 throw power, short accuracy at 99, 96 mid, and 95 deep. So really insane. Now, of course, 
I, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm from Canada. I don't really keep up with NCAA at all. I I haven't. I have. A, I'm honestly not gonna lie. I didn't even watch highlights for any of these guys this year. I've been just doing other things. Um and yeah. So I I really don't know how these guys play, but I'm just going with it. Um, I didn't really do any research on the draft this year, uh, which is actually unfortunate. But number two pick at 98 overall, you guys got yourself uh, Nick Boza. So there's two ways to get it, of course, with the draft picks or of course buying you with Madden cash. So Kyler Murray is 7,500 we'll go to the store afterwards and i'll do all the stuff there all right that's cool get me out of here um but yeah nick boza he's gonna get plus two pursuit and plus one overall to all san francisco 49er players he's got himself 88 speed 89 strength 95 acceleration 96 power moves 898 block shedding that's pretty nice right there that's his best stat so yeah moving on to our next guy uh, for the jets they went ahead and picked up a nice defensive tackle 97 overall quinton williams um so yeah 96 uh, 97 overall sorry plus two tackle he's got himself 94 strength 93 tackle hit power and finesse moves his big stat right there is block shining at 98 and 96 power moves so that's pretty cool next up for oakland they went and picked up cleveland pharrell right here 97 overall defensive end um you guys see plus two finesse move for this bad boy um he's got himself 92 strength 90 acceleration his big stat is the finesse moves at 97 and of course 94 percent suit as well 95 tackle and 92 hit power now for 95 over or 97 overall pick number five we got devin white um he's gonna plus two acceleration to draft players and to tampa bay players plus one overall he's got 96 speed holy cow guys 96 acceleration uh awareness is at 95 97 pursuit uh play recognition at 94 and man coverage is at 96 with 95 zone coverage so that's pretty big and lastly this one was a shocker i know there was another quarterback i can't remember his name um that the giants were gonna go for but of course that was just mock drafts final guy they picked up or they went ahead and drafted um 97 overall daniel jones right here plus two jump that's an odd uh, that's an odd a little boost right there but plus two jump you guys can see 78 p um speed 90 aware 94 awareness 95 throw power 96 short 95 mid 95 deep and yeah so that's basically his stats right there now like i said i don't have the other guys with the other four picks um but let me go ahead and go on my other computer right here let me see if i can find them so at number seven overall the the jags um drafted josh daniels um at number i think it's eight right number eight was the lions they went and picked up tj hawkinson right there uh the bills went and picked up at number nine ed oliver um and then lastly at number 10 um mean joe green actually announced it number 10 was devin bush so yeah those were the guys from one to ten um all that good stuff now of course let's just check out what is this lucky pick complete this event to get a bonus draft pick collectible with a chance at number one so are you guaranteed yourself a draft pick here that's pretty insane that they're handing out a free draft pick guys um inside of the draft event and you just gotta run the zones this is an easy one dude all right let me just go ahead over here do 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 and then bam so there we go knocked up the 11 zones simple very very quick and done with um let's see what we get out of this one so yeah this is a lucky pick pack am i gonna get myself a number one draft pick i have no idea guys let's see what we get we get pick number nine so that one would be jet um for the bills we get uh, ed oliver so nice defensive end um i think 95 overall or 96 95 overall so honestly i don't know if he's gonna make the team he might make the team um but of course 95 overall all you got to do afterwards is uh and, and yeah so you can you can go ahead and exchange it for 40 picks so yo it literally just trades in for 40 picks so i got number nine but i don't have to use it at number nine so let's say i wanted number 10 because he's 40 picks as well and that's the um that one would be the steelers devin bush or of course 95 uh is 8 90 uh, I need 50 so I can go for either 9 or 10 but that's pretty cool that they give you a guaranteed so if they gave if you manage to pull Kyler Murray right here you don't even have to go for him you can go out and pick up two draft players for the price of that free live event so that is really big let me see let's play this one live event right here let's see if it changes at all what the future is here little artwork added to them but let's see what we got right here so this is jet sweep once again um this one's probably just gonna give me the same thing envelopes maybe 20 envelopes i have no idea guys we'll have to see and boom there we go knocked up the 11 zones 
easy peasy with Odell Beckham Jr. So yeah, 250 to replay these ones for Blitz tokens. Um, but of course, guys, let's see what we get. And it's still only 10 draft tokens. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks right there. Um, but yeah, let's go to the store. Let's go and check it out. So you guys see these guys are the there. 4,000 mana cash for 97 overalls. Um, 98 would be, of course, our second Nick Boza. 90, uh, 500 mana cash. And our number one guy is going to give us, of course, 7,500 for our main man uh kyler murray right there so let's go ahead and open up these packs because i'm not gonna go buy some more i'm just gonna open up these ones i can open up a total of five of these draft night packs this is gonna give me either a player or picks guys so let's go ahead and check out what pack number one gives us can we get some more draft picks that's the big question we get an elite player so we don't get our draft pick player right there calvin ridley right there um actually whoa, whoa let's go to features for a second did they add anything new no they didn't add anything new all right, guys, we're just going to go draft pick night. Let's see if we can get some draft picks. That's what we want. We want those guys, but not really looking too good for your boy. We're only getting 10 envelopes, and that, that's not what we want for, for about five bucks. Five bucks a pop, guys. Five bucks a pop as, yeah, five bucks a pop. We get Jordy Nelson. Um, and last one or two more I can open up. Not looking too good for your boy right here. And I wonder how many draft picks it is. This is like three draft picks or 10 draft picks. That would kind of suck. Um, but of course, let me see. Let me read this. Let me read this. What's the odds? Uh, doo -doo -doo, one gold better player or draft pick one to 10. So you might even just get seven draft picks and that's kind of useless for yourself, dude. All right, let's see what we get. Earl Thomas third. So absolutely zero draft picks in a total of five packs. So I basically spend a lot of money right there. Um, yeah, that was, that was, ooh, that was not worth it. Um, yeah, that was not worth it at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that was the draft picks. Um, tell me guys what your thoughts about the draft content and all that stuff. What did you guys get in your lucky pick? Um, and since we're talking about some things, tell me what your thoughts about them dropping Madden Overdrive. I would think that's a really good idea. Go back to Madden Mobile, go back to the roots, go back to what was successful. Um, you guys, they pushed the envelope. They tried to make something new, which was great. I think that was uh, respectable because of course they want to make the same thing for like what six years in a row or five years in a row try to change it messed up a little bit let's pull back let's let's go build back to basics let's go back to drawing board draw something up madden mobile has always sounded so much better than madden overdrive it's like yeah i want to play some madden mobile. It's like yo playing madden i don't know that's just my thoughts guys tell me what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching the draft is going on are you guys happy with who your team drafted and all that good stuff but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching please hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and of course guys always stay hype and i'll catch you guys soon peace what's up